He didn't stop 9-11. He didn't solve 9-11. He didn't save anybody. There was no one to save. That's the most fucked up thing about that day is that there was no, you know, they had the hospitals were all ready and there was not like one, there was like nobody was injured. Were you Just living killed. in New York City when that happened? Yeah, I was. I was not in the city. The day before on the 10th, I flew to LA to pitch a fucking TV show. Wow. And my wife was pregnant. And we were living in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, which was right. I mean, that came out of our house. The towers were our view right out the door. Mm. And so she was there six months pregnant and whammo. And uh, she called me. It was like nine in the morning in L.A. Or, or earlier, I guess it was like six. And she called me and she was just bawling. And I was like, what's wrong? And she couldn't say anything. And I was like, what the fuck is going to, partly I'm like, am I in trouble? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then she says, turn on the TV. And I saw these the towers on fire and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's nothing to do with, with home. This is a big, it's a world, world problem, not a me problem. Ooh. I'm pretty sure that's not my fault. Yeah. No. Anyway, she was, uh, she handled, actually, she handled it really well. Uh, Todd Barry, uh, you know who Todd, yeah. right? He, uh, uh, called her. She's the one who told him like what had happened. He woke up not understanding what was happening, and he was really scared. And called my ex-wife, and she con calmed him down. She's a good, she's a good person. Um, but anyway, yes. And then and I was like, get out of this. I just panic living in Manhattan. I because I grew up with movies like uh, Warriors, mm. and with memories like the blackouts. And I wasn't even there for the blackouts, but there was all these blackouts where everybody got killed. And there was a lot of movies about like New York City is shut down and everybody and you know the wolves come out. Yeah. So I thought as soon as it happened, I told her get out of Manhattan. There's just going to be people throwing TV sets through windows in like five minutes. I just believe I am it. legend. Yes, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So get the fuck out of it. Yeah. So she got out of there. Um, and then I was on the road, and I was uh, I, I, I was in L.A. I was supposed to pitch a show, and I called the network, and I said, I assume the meeting is canceled. And they said, yeah, but we, if you want your show to go forward, we do have to, we have to have, the, 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 they made me do <laughs> pitch a comedy. <laughs> On September 11th? On, on the 12th. Oh, the 12th. Well, I had to go in. a day off. What's that? They gave you a day off. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It was a day to let everything settle. Yeah, the 12th is my birthday. <laughs> um, but so I had to pitch a fucking comedy, and it was it was hard. I mean, obviously, that was you know terrible. And then I f went back on the road. I was doing gigs. So I was flying as soon as they were flying. You know, there, there was no airplanes for... How many days was it? Were I don't no remember airplanes? how long they didn't fly for, but... I think it was a couple of weeks before a flight went up. Mm. I don't remember, but but I started flying right away, and the airports were all empty, and you got everyone was allowed in the lounges, and everyone was getting upgraded to first class because the planes were empty, and for a while it was part of the protocol. Before the flight takes off, they used to say they they would give you the safety stuff, and then they would say you can use your seatbelt detaches. You can use it as a weapon. Oh Jesus! You can use your seat as a shield, and they, they were would telling you that? yes, they would say this is part of the thing for like the first month after nine eleven, and they would say we're here to protect you, but you have to protect us. And they would say wow. that, and there was one flight I took where I was flying first class, <clears throat> like seat one B. I was right at the bulkhead. And, and this other guy sitting at one seat across from me, and the captain came out right before the flight, and he kind of squatted between us, and he said, listen, fellas, because uh, it was a, a red eye, he said, uh, you're the last line of defense, so I need you not to sleep on this flight. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> yeah. I need you not to sleep yeah, on the flight to, to defend him. Yeah. But of course, there's part <sighs> of me that's like, I'm a guy, so I'm like, oh, yes, sir. You know. Yeah. I was excited. Yeah, I got asked once by a lady. These two guys were fighting, and they were thinking about removing the guys from the plane because one guy had put his bag above this other guy's seat, uh -huh. and the other guy goes, hey, man, that's for my seat. And he's like, no, it's first come, first serve. Yeah. He's like, no, fuck you. And then mm -hmm. they were like, fuck you, no, fuck you. And then mm -hmm. the lady came, had to come in and go, hey, hey. Like, I will fucking kick both of you guys off the plane. Yeah, this is before you took off. <clears throat> before we took off. She goes, we have an understanding? And they go, yeah. And then she comes to me. She goes, hey, if anything goes down, you're going to help, right? <laughs> she deputized yeah, you? She deputized me. <laughs> I'm like, okay. 
I mean, what do you want me to do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, what, what am I the official? Like, yeah. yeah. What am I? What? Are, what's my directive? What yeah. Are my, what are my orders? If I go back there and smash some guy, am I in trouble? <laughs> like, what, what <laughs> yeah. happens? What am I allowed to do? Yes, you were directed by a company employee, and she has like federal power. I need you to put that on video. Like, like yeah, that's it. what I would say done. it on my phone. Yeah. Say, go ahead. Yeah, that I need been. to know what's going on. But, but, uh, first of all, I don't know who's right. I mean, this one right. guy who says it's his seat and it's above his seat, yeah. he's kind of got a point. And the other guy's got a point, too. Mm. Like, if that's the only space that's open. I don't think it's about who's right. Right. In that situation, it's not about who's right about that. Right. It's about if somebody throws hands. Well, it was about one, wrong. one guy was really douchey about it. Like, he could have yeah. he could have been, like, um, there was nothing else available. Um, right. Do you want, like, is there a space over here? I'll, I'll move your bag for you. Yeah. Like, he could have made a... So many yeah, things. Yeah. They could have made some sort of a considerate... He's probably got something at home, you know? Probably. You get on a plane after a fight with oh, whoever yeah. at home. Oh, yeah. And Work sucks. At home, he can't say it. He's got somebody who he's fighting with who he needs to right. suppress. Yeah. And so the first motherfucker. Yeah. You know. Or he's just a dick. He's just an asshole. Could yeah. be just a dick. I can't get my head around that. That there's all. I.